Hello and welcome back to the Fuquay Flyers channel. Here we have the Flex Innovation Cessna 170. This plane has been completely revived. This is not the way it comes. It's got customizations on it, as you can see here. And well, what happened was the plane had an electrical failure that caused it to uh, get a little out of control. Captain Alex had to ditch it the best way he could to not cause any harm to anyone. And the mad scientist G here has put it back together. So I'm just going to let him tell you a little bit about what he did here and enjoy the flight. Hey guys, good morning. How you doing? This is King the Mad Scientist. As you can tell, winter's upon us. Pretty soon we'll have white walkers in the form of kids. Game of Thrones reference. Um, and over here we have uh, the Flex Innovations. Uh, you, as you can see, it's a monster, and as you can tell by the wing rocking, we got some wind. And we got our patriotic windsock over there. It's going to show you what we're facing, what we're up against. This bird right here is the, like I said, the, uh, the Flex Innovation Cessna 170. Um, of course, it's custom decaled out. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Hispanic, well, Puerto Rican. Um, and this actually belonged to Alex, uh, Captain Alex. And what happened was uh, he was flying this, flying this uh, one day and he had no choice but to uh, come down on with it really hard um, and it was destroyed. Um, it took quite a few months to get it back together, you know, because family life and life in general. Uh, and I did my very best to get her up as uh, sturdy and as, uh, as, as she was before. So this is running on a 6S. I got two HRB packs um, here inside. So these are the HRB 5000s, uh, 50C packs. And she's a big bird. And I got my little special pilot here. I think that might be Kevin, the minion there. And uh, it took it took a lot of labor of love to get this back together and. Uh, he gave it to me, considered it a loss, but he figured, let me do what I can do with it and have some fun. Uh, so thank you, Alex, for, for the wonderful bird. I hope this does you uh, proud, because Captain Alex is also Puerto Rican. And so this is, the flags that are on here is homage to our, our heritage. And you know, why not personalize it, you know? Uh, I'm gonna spin around, because I kept, uh, kept his, his favorite decal on there. He calls it the bull shark, this bird. So I left that on there. And I'm gonna made in this for the first time. This is the first time it's been out since it's been repaired. And we're gonna hope for the best. Put the pointer nose into the wind. Right now we got a crosswind southwest, and it changes up to uh, coming uh, coming south. So we're gonna be taking off in a uh, southwest direction right now, according to that flag. Oh, we're taking off in a north. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, because that's north. Oh, okay, north. Yeah, so we're taking off in a north, north, east direction. Yeah, north, east direction. Uh, uh, I guess I forgot what the compass looks like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, throttle cut is off. Give her a spin up. This is our left, right, up, down, left, right. Got the flaps working, but I don't think I'm gonna use them. Wind died. All right. And here we go. I'm trim, but I'm gonna keep her out in the sun. She wants to come down when I let go of the sticks. I got no GPS, I mean, no AS3X, no, no safe on this. This is a straight raw receiver. I, I like the attitude now a bit.
that's just the wind wanted to uh, roll her over. And she's looking pretty straight and true for the most part. Alright, let's have a little fun with her. This is that half stick, guys. Okay, that's the wind one though. A little tight leap there. I can tell you or test how much control and the thrills I have with this. He's got a lot of big surfaces there on his bird. This is about two meters, 2.1 more or less. I'm not sure, I don't remember. I don't have the manual to it. But if you're gonna give a roll. Just move it back down. Keep out of the sun. Get a train in the background. I'm gonna bring it for a little pass. I got if I got my radio set up on a five minute timer. We're gonna respect that because it's cold out here. And you know we know the cold is not very nice to uh to battery pack. She's sounding good guys, she's feeling good. She's weather baiting right now, as you can see. Let me see how she likes uh, inverted. Give a little speed, a little over. She's inverted. Bring her back around this way. And then I come around the other way in the circuit. Opposite of the pattern I was flying before. Give her some juice. Alright guys, we're gonna... We got two minutes. I think we come on the ready real quick. A minute and 60 seconds. Weather painting again. This paint is fun. It's big and it's fun and it's true man. Bigger planes do fly better. Give another Do that prop. Alright, I'm gonna go past this one and then get ready to put up for a landing guys. Sorry about that, being a little higher above that pole. Alright. Bring it around. Oh, look at that, the sun wants to come up. She wants to move back up again, but you know what, man? I'm going to check my voltage, play it safe. There she goes. All right, guys, we got it down. And I'm going to check the battery voltage, but this, like I said, is a, it's two 3S packs. So I'm going to have to pull this up. I can't even feel my fingertips, guys. <laughs> yeah. Keep the clothes off. There you go. I got some. We'll leave it to get some purchase there. I'm gonna disconnect the pack. Pull it out. These guys, hey guys, this shelf lining, magic, pure gold. That's a lot. A uh, little tip: if you're using two packs, I would recommend putting uh, some of the shelf lining in between the battery packs, because if you don't. They're gonna slide against each other because it's smooth nature of plastic. So this locks them in together. And then I guess come around the other way, like an S, make like an S out of it and just drop it in. I got a piece of self lining here that I glued at the bottom of the tray there. 
So right now on the first pack I have, it will if you want to come around. Ew, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Okay, on the first pack I got 42%, 41%, 3.8, 3.8. If you can see that. And then on the second pack, uh, 43%. 3.8, 3.8. Oh, there goes 44%. You know, it fluctuates, but that's fine. But there you go, guys. Treat your batteries good. <laughs> Balance charge them. Uh, if you haven't, if you charge them up and you haven't ran them a couple days, discharge them. If you don't, uh, if you can't discharge it for whatever reason, you want to have a little fun. You know, taxi it around your bird or whatever. Drop it down, get the voltage. But that's. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy, guys. I'm happy that it flew. Um, you know, thank God for this wonderful day. <laughs> you know, it's cold, but it's needed uh, for the natural order of things. And I'm happy I was able to get it back down in one piece. Uh, fun. This is fun. This, re this reminds me of a giant version of the E-Flight UMX Sport Cup 2, blue and white one. Um, this sliding mechanism, it, it came with a sliding mechanism. Um, but I decided not to, it was kind of uh, troublesome to recreate that. So I went with some niodinium uh, rare earth magnets. Got one here, 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 and I got here, here, and one here. And it's plenty strong. It, just, it didn't come off. You hear that positive, you can quite hear that positive lock. So it locked it down really good. Uh, sprayed it, uh, I sprayed, lightly spray painted the prop. It was gray, I didn't like the gray. I wanted to, uh, something to match the black wheels. Uh, this was a nose cone from the Carbon Cub, the Origin white one. Um, and I spray painted it silver. So we got some, some chromage, some bling bling on this bird. So to all my Boricua family out there, nice big fat huepa. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video.